that, that ability to transcend time. Yeah. 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 Thousands of years yeah. later. Well, so will be so what happens in the Abrahamic story? Because it's relevant to your question. So God offers Abraham the opportunity to be the father of nations. Okay. So imagine this. Imagine this as a father. So we use father as a generic word, right? Everybody has a father. So there's a generic aspect to it. There's a role that you play if you're a father. And then you could imagine there's a role you could play as a good father. And if you're a good father, you're, you're radically encouraging. And you encourage your children to go out into the world and prevail. You teach them to handle serpents. You don't protect them. You don't shelter them. You, you push them out and you say, no matter what comes your way, kid, I've got confidence that you can handle it. No matter how terrible it is, no matter how challenging or daunting or malevolent it is, you've got it. And when you see your children doing that, if you're a good father, it fills you with what? It fills you with gratitude and love to see your children acting that out, even at an early age, to take, taking the risks of their first steps or climbing their first play structure or going out in the playground to make new friends when they're strangers or going off to school alone, all of that, you think, it's dangerous out there. It's like, good, go. I know you can handle it. Okay, so that's what Abraham plays out. He plays out that archetypal role. And the idea there, and this is why I made reference earlier to the idea of the selfish gene. Dawkins characterized human reproduction as selfish. That's wrong because the human reproductive pattern is multi-generational. And if you want to establish the pattern of fatherhood, that's going to cascade down the generations that will make your descendants successful in the multi-generational manner. Then you follow the spirit adventure and you imbue your children with that confidence. And that's how that pattern that establishes the dynasty. So Abraham is the father of nations is established. So human reproduction is way more complex than just sex.